In this video, we're going to cover the following basic differentiation rules. So we have the constant rule, wherein the derivative of a constant is 0. And we're going to cover also the power rule. If we have y is equal to x raised to n, then the derivative is nx raised to n minus 1. And then we're going to show some examples on how we apply constant multiple rule and also the sum rule. So let us have some examples. So let's say we'd like to get the derivative of 6. Since 6 is a constant, the derivative is equal to 0. But if you would like to show the solution, this would be the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to and then we're going to use this derivative operator. So the derivative of y with respect to x is 0. y is equal to x cubed. So doing this, we have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to. So again, let's use this derivative operator to get the derivative of x cubed. So by power rule, we're going to have 3 for the exponent of your x here, and then x raised to 3 minus 1. Simplifying, we have 3x raised to 3 minus 1 is 2. This is an example for us to apply the constant multiple rule. So for this case, let's say we would like to get the derivative of the given function. So by constant multiple rule, we're just going to have 2 times the derivative of x raised to 4. Solving this, we have 2 times the derivative of x raised to 4 by power rule is 4x raised to 4 minus 1. Or we have 2 times 4 is 8x, 4 minus 1 is 3. Let's say we have y is equal to 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. For this function, we're going to get the derivative of each term. So we're going to apply the sum rule. So we have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to, so let us get the derivative of each term. So for the first term, we're going to have the constant multiple rule. Same with the second term. So we have 3 and then the derivative of x squared is 2x raised to 2 minus 1. Plus 2, the derivative of x is x raised to 1 minus 1 minus 0. So to simplify, 3 by 2 is 6x raised to 1 plus 2x raised to 0, and x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, the derivative of the given function is 6x plus 2. Let's say we have y is equal to 5 over x. If this would be the case, we can rewrite this as y is equal to 5x raised to negative 1. So that we can apply power rule to x raised to negative 1. So if we would like to get the derivative of the given function, we have 5 and then the derivative of x raised to 1. Therefore, this would be 5 times the derivative of x raised to 1 by power rule is negative 1 x raised to negative 1 minus 1. Therefore, that would be 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, x raised to negative 2. So to simplify, this would be negative 5 over x squared. Another example, we have y is equal to the square root of x. To apply the power rule, we can write this as y is equal to x raised to 1 half. 
And getting the derivative, we have the derivative of x raised to 1 half. And we have, by power rule, that would be 1 half times x raised to 1 half minus 1. So this would be 1 half x, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Simplifying, we can write this as 1 half times 1 over x raised to 1 half. And 1 times 1 is 1 over 2. And x raised to 1 half is square root of x. Let's say we have y is equal to 3x raised to negative 2 plus 1 over x squared plus 6. So the derivative of this is equal to, so let's use the derivative operator, 3, and then the derivative of x raised to negative 2 plus 1 over x squared can be written as x raised to negative 2. So this would be x raised to negative 2 plus the derivative of 6. So we have 3 times the derivative of x raised to negative 2 is negative 2, x raised to negative 2 minus 1, plus x raised to negative 2 would be negative 2, x raised to negative 2 minus 1, and then the derivative of 6 is 0. To simplify, we have 3 by negative 2 is negative 6, x, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. This would be negative 2, x raised to negative 3. So we have negative 8, x raised to negative 3. Simplifying, this would be negative 8 over x raised to 3. Let's say we have y is equal to 2 over x raised to 4 plus x minus 7. So this can be written as y is equal to 2 x raised to negative 4 plus x minus 7. Getting the derivative, we have 2 times the derivative of x raised to negative 4 plus the derivative of x minus the derivative of 7. So this would be 2 times the, the derivative of x raised to negative 4 is negative 4, x raised to negative 4 minus 1 plus this would be x raised to 1 minus 1. And then the derivative of 7 is 0. Simplifying, we have negative 8, x raised to negative 5, plus x raised to 0. So x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Simplifying, we have negative 8 over x raised to 5 plus 1.